10 Ways to Identify Faulty Machinery on Board Ships One of the most important qualities that a marine engineer must have is to know and understand his machinery extremely well. Before breaking down completely, each machinery will show a variety of signs and symptoms indicating the type and severity of the fault. Along with knowing the right procedures to operate the ship's machinery, mariners must also know how to identify and troubleshoot any problem in the engine room. Following are 10 ways in which a mariner can identify and rectify faulty machinery. 1. Abnormal sound. Sound is by far the most prominent factor which draws seafarers' attention towards a troubled part or machinery. If you are a good watchkeeper, it will be easy to figure out the difference between normal running sound and problematic sound even when you are not near the machinery. 2. Smell. Another powerful indication, which can be easily detected by human senses, is that of abnormal smell coming from machinery or systems. When you sense heavy, strong smell in the vicinity, it can be due to leakage of oil, fire, effects of high temperature. 3. High vibration. All machinery systems with moving parts generate vibration. One of the most neglected maintenance jobs for machinery on board ships is that of vibration analysis. Many shipping companies do not include it in its planned maintenance system. Any change is the vibration of machinery can easily be felt on board ships. 4. Leakages. Leakages are a result of faulty piping or machinery systems. They are easy to identify on board ships. Never ignore leakage from any kind of machinery as it can lead to spills, fire, flooding and other major accidents. 5. Smoke. Every machinery with a combustion chamber can be judged for its performance by checking the exhaust smoke for its color and density. Black smoke indicates a problem in the fuel injection system and improper combustion, lack of air. 6. Abnormal parameters. Abnormal or fluctuating parameters are mainly related to machinery faults. It's important to keep a track of all machinery parameters on board ships by comparing the readings in the logbook to the data of previous dates. 7. Alarms. Every alarm indicates a problem, major or minor, on board ships. They have been installed for that purpose of identifying faults. Never ignore an alarm related to any kind of machinery. Many incidents have been reported for crankcase explosion when OMD alarm has sounded but the crew ignored it seeing other parameters are normal. 8. Observing problems in connected systems. In the ship's engine room, most of the systems are connected to any other form of system or machinery. If a problem is observed in one system, do check the other machinery connected to it. A leakage in jacket water of the engine will lead to air going into the expansion tank with high pressure during the compression stroke and emptying the expansion tank from the vent or other openings. 9. Change in amperage. More than 80% of the machinery on a cargo ship are electrically operated from ship's generated power. Ensure to check the current of all the electrical operated machinery and pumping systems. A high current for a purifier indicates a problem in the clutch drum or transmission gear. Since in most ships, the auxiliary blower fans are operated manually, the fan must be switched off when the pressure is reached or when the current crosses the marked limit. 10. Knowing your machinery inside out. Last but not the least, knowing your designated machinery inside out will help you identify the minutest change in its performance. Learning about its history, reading its maintenance reports, and keeping routine checks will give you an idea as to how your machinery acts and performs under different conditions. This would make it easy for you to recognize any fault in your machinery system when it operates differently from its usual working pattern. Identifying machinery faults is an art which comes with practice and experience. Do you know any other important methods to identify machinery problems? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button for more informative videos.